Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in this video I want to share with you a very dramatic game where Swedish chess international master Lars Ake Schneider misses his chance to beat the 8th world chess champion Mikhail Tal. This game was played at 1982 chess Olympiad. In this game Schneider had white pieces and he opened up with e4 to which Tal responded with Sicilian defense, knight f3 d6, d4 c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3 a6. Black is going for knight or variation against which white is choosing the Amsterdam variation f4, queen c7, bishop d3, g6. This is like a combination of knight Orf and dragon you know, yes we have a dragon type formation which in the recent decades has become pretty popular. Here we have castling kingside, bishop g7, knight f3, knight d7, king h1. At this point other alternatives are queen e1, queen e2 or a4 but in the game we see this prophylactic king h1 move and in return Mikhail Tal struck in the center e5, queen e1, b5, f takes e5, d takes e5, queen h4 and h6. Black is preventing any possible bishop h6 jumps, which could allow white to weaken black's kingside. h6 was met with a4, b4, knight d5, after which we see the exchange of knights on d5, bishop b7, and in return white counterattacked black pawn. Of course at this point Tal could first save the pawn on b4 and only then go for bishop takes d5 and it looks like that there is no way to protect that pawn but instead we see an immediate bishop takes d5, bishop takes b4, uh, pay attention please till black king is stuck in the center of the board and black has to be very careful, knight c5 with which black is blocking this diagonal and is preparing castling kingside, rook a d1, bishop e6, Tal moved away his bishop from the dangerous d file and bishop e4, hitting on a8. But at this point white is actually missing a very beautiful bishop takes a6 move after which black can find himself in trouble. The idea is that now if rook takes a6 then bishop takes c5. White is simply relying on the back rank weakness. Or after bishop takes a6 if a move like knight takes a6 then this time white can play bishop d6 followed by knight takes e5. The fact that still black king is stuck in the center of the board and also as white has several powerful pawns on the queen side all this give white a strong compensation. But instead to bishop e6 we have bishop e4 answer, rook c8, bishop d5 and finally on move 21 Tal castled king side but he did it at the cost of allowing white to damage his pawn structure. Although there is nothing wrong with black's position and at this point we have an equality on the board. Queen g4, king h7, queen takes e6, rook c6, queen h3, queen takes c2, rook d7. White is looking for ways of targeting black king. e4, knight g5 check, king h8. The only move which allows black to save the game. Interestingly king g8 is losing because this allows white to capture on g7 with the check after which the queen is joining the attack and black king is getting checkmate hit. That's why to knight g5 check Tal answered with king h8, knight f7 check, king g8. A move which is losing, yes, even in this case putting the king on g8 is losing, it looks like that this g8 square is full of landmines and at any moment white can explode them. Instead it was better to move back the king on h7 and in this case all white can do is to give a perpetual check. But instead we see king g8 and as we have reached the critical position you can pause the video and try to find a winning move for white. Ready? Uh, as I've already mentioned in the beginning of the video, Schneider missed his chance to beat Tal and in here he played g3. But the winning move is an absolutely staggering queen takes h6 move. Look at this beautiful queen sacrifice guys. A move which could allow Schneider to play his immortal game. Right now the threat is queen h8 check followed by knight h6 checkmate. 
Uh, if you accept the queen's sacrifice, then anyways, uh, your king is getting checkmated or after uh, queen takes h6, if a move like rook takes f7, neutralizing this knight, then uh, rook d8 check can follow and again black king is getting checkmated and then we have rook takes f8. Uh, what is interesting after uh, king g8, knight takes h6 check is losing. Black can recapture with a bishop and now if rook takes f8 then king takes f8 and if queen h6 check then king e8. This rook is hanging and as there is a back rank weakness, white is in trouble. Let's go back in our game after king g8 we see this chicken move g3 and already knight takes h6 is the threat. Let's just make a random move if a5 then white can go for knight takes h6 and the reason that knight takes h6 works in this case is that after king takes f8 white can switch his queen into the attack from f1 square yeah it's white to move and black king is getting checkmate hit uh, that's why to g3 tal already answered with h5 saving the pawn knight g5 queen takes b2 knight e6 uh, this is already losing and it was better simply to go for the exchange of rooks and then play queen f1 if rook c1 then rook d1 we have an equality on the board but instead we see knight e6 move and now let's see how Mikhail Tal neutralized white's attack and he not only neutralized the attack but also white's attack is now boomeranging back and now it's white who is in trouble right now the knight on e6 is hanging also at any moment black rook can penetrate the second rank for example if knight f4 then rook c2 is coming and now it's black who is on the attacking side uh, after uh, bishop f6 white answered with rook d8 check hoping for bishop takes d8 but tal cold heartedly played king f7 Knight g5 check, king e7 and now we have two hanging pieces. Knight takes e4 was played but once Tal won the rook on d8 he forced a resignation. Well this is what happens when you are not using your chance. Uh, Mikhail Tal laid himself open to a crushing queen sacrifice but Schneider overlooked the golden opportunity which could allow him to immortalize this game. And then on a smooth place he even made a mistake and fell into the abyss. In the end a chess puzzle for you, please take a look at this position. And actually we have a similar position where this time it's black who is winning. The task is to find mate in 3 and I will wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching, in the end feel free to check out my uh, early uploads as well. I will see you in my next video. Take care.